When you're inside of the van, it is no different than operating any other van. Of course, you turn it on, foot on the clutch, etc. Gear sticks just here. To use the rear sliding area, all you have to do, so the first thing you have to do is put your foot on the clutch firmly. That is very important. And then down here on the left-hand side, you have what looks like sort of like a front and rear axle. That is your PTO button. So you need to press that to send the power to the rear. So you press that. In the centre here of your, of your rev counter, it will then say PTO activated. What you need to do next, very slowly release the clutch. It will now make that noise, as I'm sure you can hear. That is now sending power to the PTO in the rear. The next thing you need to do to get power to the rear, you need to press the cruise control button, which is on the right-hand side, the centre. You press that button. And then you press set plus. This is going to increase the revs. And it's going to tell you how many revs also it's on. So we're going to put it to 1050. It will tell you that in there. That will be enough power to do most jobs in the rear there. It tells you it's 1050. What we do is now we get out. The rear doors to open these up so you can get into the rear where the vehicle will be. Firstly, you open this hatch just here. Now this slides then also onto there just like that. So then it's in position. All you need to do now flick this open, overlap that, watch at the top, that then opens just around like that. This then can then be connected, you just put this back on the door so it doesn't go anywhere. This can then be connected underneath, so do be, be, be careful with your fingers on this. This then can open just like this, that then holds the door. That can be done both sides, that way then of course keeps it safe. Come to the left hand side to use the hydraulic system, very straightforward, it's all in this toolbox just here. You flick it just like that, both sides. This then opens up. You've got the three separate systems just here. This one on the left hand side is for the winch inside. This one just here is to tilt it forwards and backwards. This one here is to go up and down. So firstly, the main thing you have to be very careful of on here, before you do any of you know moving it up and down, you have to move it at least two feet. This is so it doesn't get caught up in the system because that's a locking system, it's to keep it safe. Now with that sort of distance, we've got at least two feet there, you can now use these. You have to make sure the wheels, before you do anything, you have to make sure the rollers on the rear are connected to the floor. This is to keep it safe. That now is in position. That now you can now unload and load with it. You can also open this side here as well for the winch access. That opens just like that. You can then go inside and unhook, etc. if needed. It's all pretty straightforward. You have one of these each side, of course, as well. They lock as easy as that also. Control chassis with the remote control. It's very straightforward. All you need to do is firstly take the safety switch off. So you just put the key in and then twist it. That then turns this light on and also there's now power which will light up this little circuit board. You can then use the remote control. You just press the green button and do exactly as we did with the hydraulics but instead on the remote control. Very straightforward. So there is another tip as well if you're using any more prestige or sports cars which are lower and you need that extra little bit of help. You do have air suspension system just down here. This will lower the rear to give you that better loading angle when needed. This is purely, I would say, for more your prestige lower end cars. You're going to need that, you know, if, you, if you're dealing with something a little bit more expensive. You can lower it up and down easy enough. That will give you that better loading angle. The vehicle is down. It is ready to get the vehicle out from inside of it. Very straightforward. Twist this just like that. That then opens this. Do be careful, of course, if the wind catches it because that's going to cause you an issue. That opens just like that. And then you do have this down here just to keep, be careful with hands again, just like that. And this then gives you full access to the wheel straps, getting the vehicle out, etc., and being able to do the job. And yeah, full access. So now you've done in the rear, all you need to do to turn the PTO off is the first main thing is put your foot on the clutch. You'll hear it go quiet. That is now gone very quiet. All you do now 
the PTO button, which I said about, you press that again, it then comes up in the center screen, PTO deactivated. Your foot is still on the clutch, of course. Now what you can do is you can release that slowly, just like that, and then turn the cruise off so it isn't gonna do that again, and then you're good to go.